always use my lip liner as my pointer because that's usually what I have in here with me. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a review and swatches video for you guys today on the brand new Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. The cuteness on this thing, I can't even handle it. It's adorable, but you guys know my love for the chocolate bar palette, so I was so excited to see that they added a new one and that it's pink. So we're just gonna talk about what we normally do in my review videos. We'll look at um, swatches, we'll talk about pricing, packaging, and then I'll just give you my overall thoughts and reviews. So let's jump into it. Okay, starting with pricing and packaging, the price of this palette is $49, and interestingly, the shape of these shadows is in a little heart shape. So I thought that you were actually going to be possibly getting less product in this palette than the other chocolate bar palettes, but you're actually getting more. Um, the total weight of this palette is 14 grams, the new one, the chocolate bonbons, and the total weight of the first two is 13.3 grams. So the shadows in here are one gram each, and the shadows in the first two are 0.95 grams each. So that's really interesting. So the shape of the little pans has nothing to do with, you know, how much product you're getting. You're actually getting more product. It's just cuter. And then per usual with the chocolate bar palettes, the packaging on this one is precious too. I mean, the box is just beautiful. It's got so much detail to it. And then you have the pictures of the different shadows on the back so you can see what you're getting in your palette. Um, but I hang on to the boxes of all my chocolate bar palettes because they're just too cute. Like I can't get rid of them. And I'm always debating like, do I keep them in their boxes because the boxes are beautiful or do I take them out because obviously the palettes inside are precious too or do I set them out together? I don't know. I mean, I just, I love the packaging. So I love all of it. I love the outside boxes. I love the palettes inside. They're precious. And then with this one, as usual with Too Faced palettes, you do get the little pamphlet with different look ideas, which I think is like such a nice little detail that they do because not only does this give really nice inspiration for looks, but it does talk about like application techniques. So if you're new to doing makeup, I mean, this does give some really great suggestions and application techniques. So I think it's just a nice little added bonus that they do that. And then the actual palette itself, can we just take a moment? This is cuteness overload. I'm probably gonna say cute and precious a lot in this video because this is cute. And it reminds me a lot of like, I Love Lucy or something, which I love, I Love Lucy. So that's a really good thing. Like with the pink and the hearts, it's just, it's adorable, yeah. So it's pink, it's got the hearts on it. This may be a little much for some people, but it's not for me. I love everything about it. And then it says chocolate bonbons. You open it up and then it says, like right below the mirror, it says chocolate bonbons. And then you have two larger eyeshadows there and then the rest of them are in the little heart shape. So just, I mean, the packaging is, I think, perfect. I mean, I think that they totally knocked it out of the park with the packaging on this one too. And as far as the color scheme on this one, it's a very kind of girly, pinky sort of a palette. So the outside pink packaging totally matches the shadows inside. So you see you have three different pinks, really. This one's kind of like a neutral sort of a pink. Um, but then you have like a purple, but you also have a lot of neutrals in here. So you could definitely get a very wearable, everyday, work appropriate sort of a look, but you could also go for more of the pinks, which is what I did today, and get a very girly feminine look. So overall, it's still a neutral palette, but it does have that kind of girly, sweet, feminine vibe to it. So for some comparisons, the original chocolate bar palette is on the bottom, and the chocolate bonbons is on the top. So you can see, I mean, these are all very neutral palettes, so you could really combine them all together and get just a big old neutral sort of a palette, but the original chocolate bar palette kind of has more of that like burgundy, um, brown burgundy sort of a vibe, where I feel like this one is more kind of on the pinky side and it has quite a few kind of cool toned neutrals in this one, but I love them both. And then on the bottom here is the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. So you can see this one definitely has more of kind of like a warm, neutral sort of a vibe to it. Um, different than the chocolate bonbons. I think they did a good job of still making them all neutral palettes, but um, giving them each a different feel to them. So this one is definitely, the new one is definitely different than the first two. Um, and I really like the color scheme of this one a lot. Okay, now for some swatches. So we're gonna start over here, which is the top row of the palette. I feel like I always use my lip liner as my pointer because that's usually what I have in here with me. Um, today I'm wearing NYX's Natural, if you're curious, and also Milani's Nude Cream. 
but that has nothing to do with this. So anyway, starting over here, this is almond truffle, satin sheets, sprinkles, molasses chip, malted. Next row, this is cashew chew, cotton candy, cafe au lait, Bordeaux, mocha, and black currant. Bottom row, this is dark truffle, pecan praline, totally fetch. This is a repeat from the um, Pretty Rebel palette, which I love. It's an adorable palette, and that's a beautiful color. This one is Earl Grey, and the last one is Divinity. So there are all the swatches. And I didn't really touch a lot on if there are similar shadows in this palette versus other Too Faced palettes, but honestly, I have a lot of Too Faced palettes, and I know that I could probably find quite a few at least comparable shades, because honestly, these are neutral shadows. So when you're getting into neutral shadows, I mean like kind of a really nice um, blending shade, you're probably going to have some really nice blending shades like that in other Too Faced palettes, but also other palettes in your collection. So is this a super duper unique palette as far as the color scheme goes? Probably not, but I really do like the color scheme of it a lot. I think it's a really nice one, but you do probably have some similar shades in your collection, so that's just something to note. And as far as the formula goes on these shadows, I think it's a really nice formula, very comparable to the first two chocolate bar palettes. Um, I did notice a little bit of powdery kick up in the actual palette when I was using it, so it was getting a little bit messy looking, but I really didn't notice a ton of fallout on my face, which is really nice. Um, I had a little bit in my outer corners down here, but that pretty much happens to me across the board with any eyeshadows that I use. Like, if you watch my tutorials, you probably see that in almost every single tutorial. But I just get a little bit down here. Like, I don't know if it's, I guess it's just my, like, outer corner blending technique that does it. I'm not really sure, but it did happen with this one, but that's nothing out of the norm. It happens to me usually across the board but yeah not a lot of fallout anywhere else so that's really nice but a little bit of, of that powdery kick up in the actual palette itself but that's not a deal breaker for me um, they're just super pigmented and they blend really nicely like that's what I love about them is that they don't drag and like stick to each other because when you get shadows that don't like blend easily and they stick and drag that's when you get uneven blending and your eyeshadow look ends up looking patchy and uneven. So these don't do that. Um, they blend really nicely, but they don't blend away too much where your eyeshadow look gets um, muddy looking. So I really like the formula on these. I think it's really nice. So my overall review on the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette is that I absolutely love it. I think it is so precious. I think the packaging is just perfect adorable, super, super cute, but I also really like the shadows inside. I think that they're really nice quality. Now, if I'm trying to pick my favorite of all the chocolate bar palettes, that's hard. Um, I've always said that this one is my favorite between this one and the semi-sweet, just because it's the original. I love it so much. So this one has been my favorite so far, but I think now that this one is around, this one might be my favorite of the three. Just I think mainly because of the packaging, but I do really like the shadows inside. So I don't know, it's hard to say. I do still really love, I love all of them, but I do still really love this one. But I think I might have to go ahead and say this one is now my favorite of the three. I think it's precious. All right, guys, so that's my overall review on the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bons palette. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you're thinking about this palette. Are you going to get it? Did you already order it? Do you love the chocolate bar palettes from Too Faced? If so, which one is your favorite? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!